determinants satisfy a few easy properties, which are useful to know. For example, in a, a few small proofs, which you will encounter later on. Or in order to simplify some computations. In this web lecture, you will learn what these properties are, and we will illustrate this with a few two-by-two -two examples. Here we have a matrix A and a matrix B, 1, 2, 3, 4, and B, 2, 4, 4, 5. The determinant of A, 1 times 4 minus 2 times 3, equals minus 2. The determinant of B, 2 times 5 minus 4, 4 times 4, equals minus 6. Let's compute the determinant of the A transpose. So we take the A transpose first, compute the determinant, 1 times 4 minus 2 times 3, 4 minus 6 equals minus 2 which is the same as the determinant of A. That is now coincidence. <coughs> the determinant of A is always the same as the determinant of A transpose. If you want, you can prove that by uh, writing out what the determinant of a larger matrix is, using the definition, uh, first going along the rows and then along the columns, and then you see you get the same expression. It's a bit of a messy proof. We'll just be happy with the results. The determinant of A and A transpose are the same. Now we are going to look into products. We compute the matrix A times B. So, use the row column rule. 2 plus 8 equals 10. 6 plus 16 equals 22. 4 plus 10 equals 14. And 12 plus 20 equals 32. So there we have our matrix AB. Then we compute the determinant of AB. So 10 times 32 minus 22 times 14. 320 minus 8 equals 12. So determinant of the matrix AB equals 12. And it happens to be exactly the same as the determinant of A times the determinant of B. Is that a coincidence? Well, no. This rule always holds. The determinant of AB equals that A times that B. We'll not prove this one either, but after you've seen something about linear transformations, you will understand better why this rule holds. For now, we are just happy with the result. The determinant of a product is the product of the determinants for square matrices. Next rule. Let's compute 5 times the matrix A. So 5 times the matrix A yields 5, 10, 15, 20 for here. And let's compute the determinant of 5 times A. So we get 100 minus 150 equals minus 50. But hey, that's not 5 times the determinant of A, because that A equals minus 2. 5 times minus 2 is just minus 10. So the determinant of 5 times A is not 5 times the determinant of A. Important, remember you cannot take the 5 out. But we see that the determinant of 5 times A equals 5 squared times the determinant of A. Because then we get 25 times minus 2 equals minus 15. That is correct. Well, and this one holds in general. We'll see why uh, after we see what row the operations do with determinants. So that will come later. But here we see al already an example happening. So what would be the general rule? This is for 2 by 2 matrix. What would be the general rule for an n by n matrix? Well, try to guess it and post your guess below on the forum. <laughs>